All right, FAQ number 79, the question comes up, why are dead saints' remains removed at the rapture if we all get new bodies? I mean, what's the point of resurrecting a bunch of, you know, pulling out a bunch of old rotted corpses or, you know, bones or even just dust that people have turned into? What's the point? Well, 1 Corinthians chapter 15. I'll get to it here eventually. 1 Corinthians 15. Uh, verse 35. But some man will say, How are the dead raised up? And with what body do they come? In other words, you know, okay, there you're raising up these dead corpses. What's it going to look like? Verse 36. Thou fool. That which thou sowest is not quickening, quickened except it die. And that which thou sowest, thou sowest not that body that shall be, but bare grain, it may chance of wheat or of some other grain. But God giveth it a body as it hath pleased him, and to every seed his own body. Okay? Um, if you plant a seed in the ground, it, and it comes up as a plant, uh, what happened to the seed? Is it still there in the ground? No. It became a plant became something new and in like matter you get somebody who's a saved you know saint and they die and they're there in the ground and at the catching away of the body of Christ you know their souls in heaven but their body's still down there in the grave well you say well just give them the new body in heaven yeah, but what do you do with the seed that's there in the ground okay and and really I mean what kind of a miracle would it be the dead in Christ rise first you know and then the living go up after that, you know, uh, what kind of a miracle would it be if you said, well, you know, that was the rapture and we can prove that, you know, the dead saints went up and they go to the graveyard and they dig it up, you know, the body of D.L. Moody or some other great servant of the Lord. And they say, well, right there's the skeleton. See, there's no miracle there. You know, it just you could explain away all the living people. They just went and I don't really know what happened to them or whatever else. And. They just did some kind of a terrorist attack or something. But how are you going to explain dead bodies coming up? How are you going to be, how are you going to explain, you know, graves being opened and the dead bodies coming out? You know, like what happened in Matthew chapter 28. Let's turn back there quick. Keep your hand here in, Matt, in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Uh, go back to Matthew Twenty-eight, I think, is it twenty-eight? Okay, sorry. Matthew chapter twenty-seven, verse fifty-two. And the graves were opened, and many bodies of the saints which slept arose and came out of the graves after his resurrection and went into the holy city and appeared unto many. So again, you know, if you just have this guy show up, you know, here's Moses walking around, or here's Abraham or, you know, some other, you know, saint from the Old Testament, and they're walking around, people would say, who do you say, you know, that you are? Well, I'm, you know, so-and-so. Well, his grave's right over there, and it's not disturbed. You know, old D.L. Moody was, was was resurrected. How can you prove that? There's his grave site over there. Nothing even happened. No, at the rapture, those bodies are going to be coming up. That's part of the miracle of the rapture. So that's why it's that way. And, um, you know, they're going to be getting new bodies, sure, but that, that old uh, dead body is going to be changed, uh, just like our corruptible bodies are going to be changed. And uh, so that is the way I would answer that question.